Do you believe in miracles? Do miracles really happen in our lives? Before you answer, I would like to share with you a few moments in the lives of Tony and Janice. Born in El Paso, Texas on January 22, 1974, he was the third child of nine pregnancies and weighed only one pound and three quarter ounces. Tony could be held in the palm of your hand. The first few weeks were critical. Overcoming many challenges, Tony's little body finally stabilized. He was a fighter from the very beginning. As the years passed, it was one crisis after another, but other things began to happen. Janice noticed that music had a calming effect on Tony. He loved to make sounds with odds and ends. Tony would sit on the floor and play songs that he heard, note for note, melody for melody, perfectly. Along with that mysterious talent, Janice noticed that Tony was both mentally and physically compromised. At the age of five, Tony was diagnosed as autistic. This opened many doors for his future, education, because he qualified as disabled. Recognizing that Tony's challenges would be lifelong, Janice went back to school, earning degrees in elementary education, special education, and early childhood endorsement. She wanted the very best for Tony. Janice's ultimate goal was to have Tony attend the renowned Perkins School for the Blind in Boston, Massachusetts, one of the very best and unfortunately most costly schools in the country. Janice knew that Perkins would provide Tony an excellent learning opportunity and expose him to one of the largest cultural centers in the world. While at Perkins, Tony enrolled in an after-school program at the Rivers School of Music and became a member of the Jazz Ensemble. The band afforded Tony the opportunity to relate socially and musically with others. This would again be a turning point in his life. One day, the group decided to compete in a high school jazz festival hosted by the prestigious Berkeley College. It was there that Tony earned an outstanding musician award and received a summer scholarship to Berkeley. The following year, Tony enrolled at Berkeley full-time. Still unable to read or write, Tony graduated magnum cum laude. Arguably, this is not only the proudest moment in Tony's life, but also the beginning of a lifetime of memories filled with love and admiration for beautiful music. So this is Tony and Janice's story. Since then, Tony's been the recipient of many awards, performed from Dublin to Taipei to the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. He's released numerous CDs, had books written about him, and appeared on the Today Show, Entertainment Tonight, and CBS's Sunday Morning. Journey of the Heart is a film that was made to detail Tony's life. It starred Sybil Shepherd. So do miracles really occur? Would it be presumptuous for us to believe that God selects our lives in which to perform miracles? Is Tony a true miracle? You be the judge. In closing, I would like to share with you the words of Helen Keller. Once I knew only darkness and stillness, my life without past or future, but a little word from the fingers of another fell into my hand that clutched at emptiness, and my heart leaped to the rapture of living. The kids just love to hear Tony's story and Tony's message. And we tell the kids, and we say, it's okay to be different, believe in yourself, um, always have high hopes, don't give up on your dreams. Thank you.